So what the chain rule is, it's like a composition of functions. What you're doing is, essentially, you're taking the derivative of the outer function, and then you're multiplying it by the derivative of the inner function. So I'll show you what I mean in this first example, and then I'll show you some shortcuts just how to go ahead and do it you know, more quickly. So in this first example, we've got y equals 3x minus 2 cubed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a u substitution. We're just gonna say u equals 3x minus 2. So I'm just gonna write that down here, u equals 3x minus 2, and I'm gonna take the derivative of u with respect to x, du dx, and that's just gonna equal three, because the derivative of negative two is zero, and the derivative of three x, you can do the power rule, you're just gonna get three. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite this. I'm gonna write this as y equals u cubed, okay, because we replace three x minus two with u, and I'm gonna take the derivative now, so dy dx equals, uh, I'm sorry, dy du, we're taking the derivative of y with respect to u, the variable u here, and we get three u squared, okay, because we're bringing down the three and we're subtracting one from the exponent. So you're with me so far? Okay, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these together. So we've got dy du, the derivative of y with respect to u, and we're gonna multiply that by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so dy du, we got three u squared, du dx, we've got three, okay, so we can see we're getting 9u squared, okay, so 9u squared, but what does u equal? 3x minus 2, right? So that comes out to uh, 9 times 3x minus 2, the quantity squared. Now that was kind of a long process, I think you'll agree, and as you do this, you know, more and more, you're just going to do the shortcut that I'm going to show you right here. You're going to realize that you're taking a uh, a quantity to a power. So you're just gonna say, well, let me just do the power rule. And what you do is you take the exponent, you bring it down in front, and you subtract one. So that's gonna look like this. So you've got y prime, the derivative of y equals three times three x minus two squared. So all I did was bring down the three, I subtracted one from the exponent. Then you're gonna wanna take the derivative of the inside. The derivative of three x minus two is three. So you can see three times three gives you nine and then 3x minus 2 squared. And that's your derivative. So you can see that was a lot faster. Let's take a look at a couple more examples and you'll get a hang of uh, how this works. So in this one here, you can see we've got the cosine and we know that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is gonna be negative sine of 2x, but we have to take the derivative of the inside now. So derivative of 2x is just two. So I'm gonna say times two and we could just rewrite this a little bit neater, negative two sine 2x like so. Okay, so are you with me so far? Let's look at a couple more examples. This one here, same thing, we're raising this quantity to a power, we're gonna use the power rule by bringing the four down in front. So we have y prime equals four, two x minus five, okay, over three x squared. We're gonna subtract one from the exponent. Okay, so you're with me so far. But then we have to take the derivative of the inside, and you can see that we have a quotient. So we have to do the quotient rule. And the quotient rule, you can remember this little rhyme, I'm sure you learned it already, but it's uh, low d high minus high d low over the square of what's below. So we're gonna be multiplying by low 3x squared d high, derivative of 2x minus five is two, minus high 2x minus five, d low, the derivative of 3x squared is six x, over the square of what's below. So that's 3x squared squared. And then you can go ahead and simplify that further, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. 